We have just arrived to Kvarnen i Hysna, which is an old mill outside of Gothenburg here in Sweden. My name is Kalle Flodin. And I'm Christine Kjær. So what are we doing today? We're going to experience the surroundings about this old mill. It's a wonderful Swedish surroundings. Actually, uh, I don't know if you know that movie, but young Esther just get recorded around here. So, And I love that movie, so that's going to be interesting. We'll start with showing you guys the house where, yeah. where we're staying tonight, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check it out! <laughs> This used to be an old smithy, actually. Uh, they rebuilt it in 2009, so they reused all the old lumber, so it just feels like an old house, but it's really fresh and modern. This is exactly what we're looking for in our own cabin. I love this old, you know, handmade smithy stuff. Yeah, these were made by a smithy just here in the village as well. So yeah, everything that doesn't was reused from the old house is actually made from people around here. And that's what I love about it. What do you think so far? I think it's really charming. Like the way you can see all of the old pictures from this place on the wall, even see the people that have been living here. Let's do so much for the imagination about this place. We love the inside of this house, but at the same time we are outdoor people. So we got this map from mm -hmm. the owners and are now heading outside to check out the trails. Yeah, and the owner actually packed a little picnic basket for yeah. us, so that is so cozy. So I'm looking forward to that. This bridge is over almost 200 years old and the guy who built it demanded 60 Swedish crowns which is about six dollars in payment and it still stands today. That's so cool about it I think. Christina is way ahead of me on the trail right now, so I'll take this opportunity to talk to you guys. Being on a trip like this, it's such a bonding experience as a couple, because I think at least if you should invest in something in your own life, it shouldn't be like buying stuff for your house or apartment. It should be buying time together, even if it's just a hike in a forest or a trip like this when we're staying over somewhere. Invest in yourself, I would say. We just had three hikers passing us on the trail and it's just a bit embarrassing having a camera put up like this and then sitting as a couple <laughs> hanging out in front of a camera. We just like to do home videos. Yeah. <laughs> it's really embarrassing but yeah. Yeah, we have uh, take a break in the deep deep forest uh, surrounded by the most green environment. And it's so fluffy moss. Yeah. Like all of this is, feels a bit, you know, fairy tale. Yeah, it does. Almost. Yeah. It does. After this hike, we're having a dinner and then sauna. Yeah. 
And that's going to be amazing. This area is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's something new to see all the time. I'm so impressed about Gothenburg and the surrounding around Gothenburg. You're not getting bored. <laughs> and all those amazing, beautiful, sweet people we have met. Yeah, that's, everyone, that's the best part. Yeah, everyone had been so welcoming. Yeah. You, when you're on these walks, even though you know you're around the city, but when, you, when you're in these walks in this beautiful nature, it also makes you think about the stuff you didn't have time to think about. Yeah. We have some really good conversations, I would say. Yeah, totally. And have some meetings with each other <laughs> that we didn't have time to do back home. I think it's good for your mind to get a bit away and come into new areas that can make new thoughts, if that makes sense. Yeah, because even if we love where we live in our cabin in the woods, but at the same time, it's so important to break that pattern, yeah. I think, just to do something new. Yeah. Evening came faster than we expected, so we decided to jump straight into the sauna. in the hot tub and sauna, we headed over to the old mill. Welcomed by the owners. They are the fourth generation to run this place. Stay till it didn't want to leave this place, but we had to call it a night to get ready for our adventure the next day. We just had a really, really cozy breakfast here, but now we're packing up our stuff and heading to Gunnebo Castle. The 
the castle has a really unique exhibition right now called Slow Flowers. Instead of flying in flowers from other countries, they are actually drying the flowers they have in their garden during the summer, reusing them to decorate the castle right now. That was it! <laughs> Two magical days here on the west yeah. coast of Sweden, outside of Gothenburg, together with you and you guys as well. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for coming along. And if you have any questions at all about the trip we made, just comment down below. And what a perfect ending to end it on this beautiful place. I can yeah. really recommend this. Thank you so much for having us. Bye! Bye! <laughs>